Welcome to Ascension Catholic Church. We extend a warm welcome to each person who is joining us for Mass Online and for those of you who are gathered here with us today. Before we begin, please be sure to wear your mask during the entire Mass. When it is your turn to receive the Eucharist, please lower your mask and consume the host in the presence of the minister. We ask that you silence your cell phones. Please stand and greet each other with a hello. <laughs> Our entrance song will be New Creation. From death to life, I no longer live, but Christ now lives in me. Clothed in righteousness and proud with holiness, we are no Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today's priestly mass intention is for Uriel Gruelas. We take a moment to prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant us that, persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may furthermore effectively each day, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There, he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on our heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to the synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household, and many of the Corinthians who heard believed and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his His saving saving power. power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord Lord has revealed to the the nations nations his his saving saving power. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said one to another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while, and you will not see me, and again, a little while, and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they said, what is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, you are discussing with one another what I said, a little while, and you will not see me, and again, a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep 
and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, happy Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, and if you've ever seen any of the movies, I love that one from the 50s or 60s, with that, you know, the black and white one. Oh, that's so great with the kids and the, you know, it's, it's so dramatic. But it's heart, heart touching. There's been several n- new movies about Our Lady of Fatima, and one just came out, I think, last year or two years ago that was kind of. Lucia's tale from her, her perspective. Remember, there's Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta. Francisco and Jacinta died young, and Lucia lived to, to a ripe old age. And, uh, you know, Our Lady of Fatima, and you know, my job is to preach the gospel, but. Um, that's really the heart of the message, is the gospel. Prayer, repent, do penance, especially pray the rosary. Uh, I had a priest friend who was never a big fan of, of, of Fatima apparition, just some, because of some of the controversy around it and such. And so, but he went and went on a retreat there, and, and he said, you know, when you really listen to the message and its context and and there and, and enter into the prayer, it's really beautiful and deep. You know, pray, do penance. That sounds like a pretty good message. You know. Also from Fatima, we have some, you know, some beautiful prayers that, that were given through the angel and like of the Fatima prayer from the Rosary, oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. That's a beautiful prayer. Oh, I don't know. Father says hell. You know. Sometimes, every once in a while, it's good for us to remember that reality, and that was part of that vision of, you know, with was to, to understand. How awful hell is. To make sure that we remember we don't want to go there and we don't want anybody to go there. So pray and do penance for the conversion of souls. That sounds pretty beautiful. You know. So oftentimes the what like gets talked about the most with Fatima these days, at least in the circles that I I run. You know, it's, it's about the consecration of Russia and things like that. And I'm not saying that that wasn't or isn't important, but they don't, people don't always talk about the real message, the heart of the message, the conversion of sinners, the conversion of ourselves, that praying of rosary, doing the penance. And remember, too, the context. World War I. You know, the Great War, the war to end all wars, the worst war in the history of humanity to that day. And Jesus sends his mother, pray, do penance, pray for the conversion of sinners. And how much it's needed. Because the unconversion of a sinner, you know, on the on the grand scale, the, the end is war, death, destruction, hell on earth. And so we pray for all people their conversion. We do penance, not just for our own sins, but for our own sins, but especially for the conversion of the world and in reparation. 
There's a guy in our neighborhood, I don't know if you ever met him, but he walks around and he picks up garbage every, pretty much every day. That's what I do, he says, you know. In a little way, that's a beautiful image of what is reparation. It's doing these little acts of penance, of charity, to make up for the disaster of the people around us. You know, it's the, let me light a, a, a candle in the darkness. It may not be a floodlight, but it's something, and it's making a difference. And if each of us do that, wow, talk about power. And why do you do it? Well, because our Savior, well, he was hidden for three days. And then we saw him again, and we have great joy. Because there's still so many people that just like in the time of, of St. Paul, need to hear, and uh, Aquila and and Priscilla, the need to hear the gospel still. And so may the Lord strengthen us to continue to do penance, to repent, and to love one another as ourself. Let us pray. We pray for the church in a special way that we can continue to proclaim the gospel message as reminded to us at, at Fatima of prayer, penance, and, and uh, reparation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world in a special way for an end of war and for the conversion of all sinners that we might truly love the Lord with all our heart and our neighbor as ourselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are closest to Christ and the cross, especially those who are suffering persecution, particularly for their faith. We pray for the conversion of the world. We pray for all those who are hungry and tired and lonely and sick. We pray for all those who are suffering the consequences of war, those who have come home, those who have had to stay in place. That the Lord heal hearts and, and raise, up, raise us up to love one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community here at Ascension, that we might truly believe, love, and adore the Lord and continue to grow in our spirituality of, 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 of uh, reparation and shining the light through charity and penance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the intentions that you carry with you today. And for the intentions of all those who join us online, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, we present these and all our petitions in faith and confidence, for we ask them in the name of the Lord Jesus, through the intercession of Our Lady, and especially all the saints associated with Fatima. We ask this for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary and grant, we pray that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth and our eternal salvation who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this, festive, on this feast day of Our Lady of Fatima of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived our your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions endure, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble prayer, praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you, firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Alexander our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember your servants, remember, Lord, your servants, the living, Peshuay Uriel and Gruelas, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously, accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, O Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Special way for all, I think we've had about five people die related to the parish this last week or so for their souls. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy martyrs and holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, admit us with your, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously, grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Through the same Christ our Lord. Rejoice, rejoice, O Virgin Mother, for Christ is risen from the tomb. Alleluia. 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 Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
happy kind of Ascension Thursday. <laughs> we'll celebrate uh, on Sunday, of course, this weekend, our feast day. Uh, you know, 40 days since the Lord's resurrection and uh, you know, the day that he, he ascended into glory to pray for us, to intercede for us there in the Holy, uh, Holy of Holies with the Heavenly Father. Uh, uh, special prayers for a friend of mine named Jesse, if you don't mind, a, a young guy who got ke- uh, leukemia when he was 18 and uh, has just been suffering from uh, consequences of that, other problems from surgeries and such, but he's not doing good. If you could say a little prayer for him, I'd appreciate that. Jesse Aguilar and his family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. As we go forth, let us sing in the day of the Lord, number 576. Shut up. 